Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. Super nice sunny day out here today at the range with heavy metal. The only thing bad about sunny is we got the bugs hatching out and I've been swallowing gnats just about all morning, but super nice day out. We're gonna cut straight to the point. Here in front of me, I have a Bergara B14 squared crest. That's a lot to say, but this one is in 300 wind mag. It has, for 300 wind mag, has a 22 inch fluted barrel. The entire package without the scope comes in just a shade over seven pounds. Pretty cool stuff. It has the QD mounts. It has the two uh, mounts up front for your sling that way and also a bipod if you want it. Very good trigger. Uh, of course, Bergara is known for their uh, good barrels. And uh, yeah, 20 MOA rail on top. The whole purpose of this video is to do some different boo lot testing. I've got three different grain weights here. I'll show you all this up close in a second, but I got 150 grain and two 180 grains. I thought I had three different ones, but I got two different grain weights, three different factory loadings. We're gonna go back to 100 yards, really slow down, focus on my squeeze, and just see what kind of precision groups I can squeeze out of this Bergara. But this thing has a carbon fiber stock. Everything about this screams sweet. Let's uh, oversize bolt knob. Glass on top, I have a Blackhound Emerge 3 to 24, which if you're not familiar, Blackhound Emerge is a really nice piece of glass. Um, check them out. But let me show you this ammo up close little bit closer look at this whole rig then we're going to go back to 100 slow down we'll do some groups out of these and at the end i'll put them in a chart and make it easy for us to read but check this uh check out these bow lights and and this rig up close real quick all right so real quick here is what we're going to be feeding this bergara today we got the 150 grain core locked which is that lead tip there then we have 180 grain core lock tipped. You can see there it's a tipped round, got a little bit higher BC. And then this stuff was just released recently. Remington's brand new Premier Cut or copper tipped ammo, which is also a 180 grain. Now, if you go make me guess, I think it'll do pretty decent groups with all three, but I'm going to guess it's going to like these 180s, the heavier grain weight better. But closer look at the rig here, like I said, Bergara B14 squared crest, carbon fiber. This isn't hollow, it's filled. So pretty interesting design there. AICS mags, before I forget to mention that. And yeah, super smooth action. It's a Bergara. There's that 22 inch fluted barrel. And on the end of this thing, uh, I gotta mention it, it does come with a multi-directional brake on it, but for this video, I've got my Banish 30 can on there. Gonna put some shusher on it, make it quieter to my ears. I gotta save all my hearing I got left. But let's go back to 100 yards. I've already got this thing uh, bore sided and sided in in a previous video where I picked it up, but today we're focusing on how good can we get it to group with this 300 win mag. Before I forget to tell you, we got the new Hootie Who shirts in. We got another shipment of them in. If that floats your boat, we got these in different colors, blue, black, different colors on the logos. We got the Hootie Who True Timber Strata leather patch hats in we got some blaze orange stuff in hats beanies sweatshirts and some other stuff go check out everything we got on hootiehoo.com if that's something that you think would be cool in your closet i like them all right y'all i'm gonna do my best out here but i'm not gonna lie it's pretty miserable out here today the gnats are bananas out here like <laughs> You might be able to see them flying around in the camera, but uh, it's gonna be hard to do precision stuff when I'm swatting at gnats, landing on my face and stuff the whole time. I literally just came over here with my pickup 
put it in park and tried to smoke them out of here with the exhaust and it actually worked a little bit but we still got a bunch of them around here anyways y'all don't care about the bugs uh we're here to see what kind of groups we can get with this bergara but here we go i'm gonna try to block out the bugs and see what we get here first off is i got the bulas down here in the shade uh core lock tipped remington core lock tipped 180 grain that's what we're doing here let's do a couple groups for this and maybe the ba boom will get rid of some of the bugs here i'm not kidding it's crazy y'all I'm, I'm always outside but if there's a hundred bugs on you that's a different story than just flicking one or two bugs off uh, doing all this today, I got the Caldwell bipod up front, Caldwell rear bag. Help me uh, do this thing justice. Let me check my parallax here. Uh, even the target down there, guys, is just a swarm of gnats all over it. That's pretty good on the parallax. All the zoomies with 24 zoomies. See what I can do here. Slow down, take my time, do a couple groups with this core lock tipped. Try to do this Bergara justice here. Good squeeze there. Do two more. I'm gonna edit this. So uh, I'm not gonna do much talking. I'm gonna edit it so y'all don't have a long video to watch and you just get the facts. Good squeeze there. Well, that one flung it out sideways. That might not have been a good squeeze in. That's, that was a, might have been a fluke on me too. About a one and a half inch group there out of this Bergara. When I sighted this thing in, I don't need to recheck the torque or anything, do I? I checked everything before I left the house. Now it all seems tight. When I sighted this thing in, it was getting 0.7 inch groups across the board uh, over and over again. So let's do a second group here with this same stuff, 180 grain. Check the can. Oh, still on there tight. <clears throat> Another group with the 300 wind mag. It's also on the lead sled last time. Yeah, I don't know what happened on that first group, so. But that second group uh, put two in the same hole, didn't it? About a 0 .6, 0 .7 inch group, kind of like what we did when we sighted it in. I'm gonna, this is getting pretty hot, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do another group of this stuff so we'll have more data. And after this group, I'm gonna put it in the shade and let it cool down for a little bit. Give it the best chance we got. Yeah, and there's another uh, clover leaf. That's probably an even better group. But uh, like I said, I'm going to put this thing in the shade. That's nine pretty quick through this barrel. Um, those look good, but I'm going to measure these with the calipers here. I'll show you guys the exact groups. Uh, ne next up is going to be the Remington Premier Cut Copper Tipped 180 grain. Be back in a second. All right, here we go. I don't know what that was. 10, 15 minutes or something. Now, I think I told you we were going to do the Remington Cut next, which is Remington's new copper tipped round. It is a copper tipped round. Uh, but these are also 180 grains, just like the last one. How much was that? Eh, just about room temperature on the barrel now, so. Does it matter if we let it cool? I don't know. A lot of people in the comments uh, seem to think it makes a big difference. Here we go. Here's another 180 grainer. See if we can do better than that one. Uh, bottom left target here. Our impact is way left. It might be the difference too on that first group that didn't group that well. The cold bore is just that far off. 
from the next two, but I don't think that's gonna be it. Let's see where this one hits. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's doing the same thing on this first group. See, and then two touching, so. Uh, odd, but it did the same thing as the, the previous group, so. Yeah, see, it's pretty near putting them in the same hole there after that first one, so. Yeah, and that one kicked out a little bit, but I'm gonna do the same thing. You know, it's hard to say if that was a bad squeeze, but it felt good to me, but. Let this cool. After seven or eight, I'm getting some pretty significant mirage off the barrel and can there. Do the same thing, let it cool and come back with the 150 grain cooler locks. All right, so let it cool again. And let me tell you, ugh, I have the absolute heebie-jeebies today. I hope you can at least see some of the gnats flying around here. This is ridiculous. About to the point where I just wanna get out of here. That's one thing, one or two bugs crawling on you, but man, uh, they're all over me. But here's uh, 150 grain Remington Core Locks. Be the lightest projectiles that we do today. Uh, these are hitting a lower point of impact. Uh, it's going up and down, but uh, I think that's still gonna come in at an inch. Wow. So I think the heat, the heat really boogered the 150 after three groups, but that wasn't the case at the beginning. I know that thing's scalded not now, but uh, just uh, interesting what happened. Now uh, the gnats are driving me crazy, so I'm gonna grab those groups and we'll measure them at the house and I'll show you all the data. All right, so back at the house, I'm not kidding. Uh, we've been having hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And every time it warms up to like 70, a bunch of bugs hatch and it's miserable. Hopefully a bunch of those gnats and ladybugs and stink bugs and everything else that was landing on me and in my ears. is going to take refuge somewhere else. Uh, anyways, uh, you guys saw what happened there. Pretty interesting. So that's another testament to, hey. You got to find exactly what your bow light slinger likes the best. Your 300 wind mag or your 308 or your 30 out six might like a 150. It might like a 165. It might like a 180. You just got to try it. Um, kind of interesting what happened. With two, the cold bore shot was way off and then we grouped very well. And then the last one, uh, well, let's just look at the facts of what happened. So. First, right off the bat, was I kind of messed up my identifier here. The core lock tipped 180 grainers. So, this is the one that included the cold bore shot, which was a 1.43 inch group. Not the worst thing you've ever seen, but nothing you're probably going to get too excited about. But then, right here, that's three, guys. That's not two, that's three. So, directly after this, we didn't let it cool. One, two, three. Four, five, six. We got a 0.61 inch group, which that's along the lines and even a little bit better of the groups that I was getting my first trip to the range with that Vergara. 0.61. Now that is something that I would sit here and get excited about. A 0.61, that's not easy to do at 100 yards. So now we're talking about some respectable groups, right? 
And then I go ahead and do 789 without letting it cool. And I got this 0.53 inch group. I believe that's the best of the day. So cold bore, not so hot. Then I got a 0.6 and a 0.5 inch group with those core lock tipped 180s. If you got a Bergara 300 wind mag, those 180 grain core lock tips might be your ticket. Next, we did the, uh, I'll show you the box again up close. This is the Remington copper tipped. And this is also 180 grain. And similar story. I don't know why I only did two groups of this one instead of three like I did the others, but that's what I did. Uh, the first one was not that impressive. Similar to this first group. 1.64. Mm -hmm. Would that get your deer? Yeah, probably so, but... I like precision. And then the next group, two touching, and then another one, barely squeezed it inside of an inch, right there at a one inch group. That's getting into the, okay, we can uh, hunt with that stuff range. And that's that copper tipped ammo. I just did two, but again, the first group with the cold bore, for whatever reason, Avergara is grouping good, but not with the first one. Interesting. And then we uh, flipped this target over, and it did exactly opposite with the 150 grain core lock. The first group was the best, uh, which was a 0.97. The second group was a 1.1, and the third group, the hottest, uh, an over two inch group. Uh, which to me doesn't make sense, but uh, that's that's why we test these things out the first two The hotter the barrel got the better groups. We did we went from first group to second group to third group The hotter the barrel got the better we did that's seven eight nine out of that barrel right in a row This one same thing one two three four five six inside an inch, but then for whatever reason the hotter it got with the core locks, the worse it got. But hey, that's why we do these, these tests, guys. But, like I said, if you got a Bergara B14 squared crest in 300 wind mag, uh, I'd be going with that 180 grain tip drowned. These are those core locked tips, 180 grain. We got a 0.61 and a 0.53. If I'm not mistaken, that's also the stuff that I sighted it in with. Just look at the draw, and I was getting 0.7 inch groups across the board. Uh, so take that to the bank. The 180 grain core lock tips is what that Bergara liked when I had it out there. Uh, bugs or not, I'm, t I'm here to tell you, it was something out of a horror movie today. Like... They were just everywhere, like, anyways, um, definitely a sweet, uh, Bergara. We got several good groups out of this thing, uh, but hey, make sure you guys are subscribed. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. My favorite videos are the deer catching videos. My second favorite videos are when we go out. And slow down and do testing like this today. When there's bugs out there, not my favorite. I like it when it's winter time. Uh, but anyways, uh, these are my second type, second favorite type of videos. When we go out there, slow down and just do our best. Focus on the squeeze and, and try to test the different things out and group group test them. But uh, yeah, Bergara B14 Square Crest. This be one. Uh, I want to take out long range as well. Take it to a thousand yards. See how we do with it. But hey, appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for coming along for this video out at the range, uh, testing some different bow lots in this Bergara. Make sure y'all are subscribed. Don't forget, go check out hootiehoo.com. We got a newsletter. We got blogs up on there, all different kind of stuff. These shirts, these hats. Uh, but hey, appreciate y'all stopping by and watching the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Hootie hoo. Load it up and get on as soon as you can. Thirty on six, ten mil, fifty cap. Don't make a difference, man. We like.